there, good people. Big Mo Crypto here. Well, today's topic is going to be about decentralized exchanges versus centralized exchanges, or centralized exchanges versus decentralized exchanges. And all the cool, cool kids call them DEX. So, what is the difference? We've got this cool graphic here um, showing some of the centralized exchanges. And these are the ones that you typically think about. Poloniex, Bittrex, Bitfinex, and of course you'd pop in uh, Coinbase in there, you'd put uh, Kraken in there, you'd put Gemini in there. Uh, those are all centralized exchanges. Decentralized exchanges would be like BitShares, Waves, BitSquare, and this new one, Xtoke, which we're going to talk about a little bit later. Now we've got this great, well, we've got this amazing, uh, I don't even know what the hell this is, it's just is just cool and I just wanted to look at it. Ah, okay, we've looked at it. But anyway, this is on Cointelegraph and they've got a great uh, set of explanations about what is centralized, well, here's the whole list, but we're not going to hit them all one by one, but what is centralized uh, crypto and what are, what are centralized crypto exchanges, I'm sorry, let's try that again. What is a centralized cryptocurrency exchange? So that's the first we're going to look at. And there's a, one that says a difference. Ah, there it is. It was just dimmed out. How does a centralized exchange differ from a decentralized one? Okay. So first of all, what is a centralized crypto exchange? We just showed some examples. An online platform and most common way to trade cryptocurrencies. This includes buying and selling cryptos with fiat. You know, fiat means paper money. As well as buying and selling cryptos with other cryptos. They can be viewed as an online marketplace for the entire cryptocurrency network. You know, I'm not crazy about that definition. I don't know why I thought that was a fantastic definition. Okay, here's a little bit better definition. Uh, this is over on Quartz. Um, it says, okay, helpful to understand what the status quo for a normal crypto exchange is. It works like this. A customer wires money to an exchange's bank account and then waits a few days for those funds to be credited to his or her exchange account. Once the funds are in, she can buy or sell crypto coins with those funds. So it's similar to putting your money in a bank. Okay, you send your money, you wire it, you use ACH, bank transfer, uh, debit card, and you send it from your money, you know, from your account to their account and they hold it. So they're in possession of your funds. So they have to be a trusted entity, okay? Once the funds are in, she can buy or sell crypto coins with those funds. During this time, the exchange, hold, the exchange holds her funds, whether in fiat or cryptocurrency, and is respond, responsible for keeping them safe. When she's done trading, she can also swap those funds into fiat currency and have that amount wired back to her original bank account. So that's what a centralized exchange is. Okay, that's typically what, um, what many of us are used to you know, in this crypto space of, of how we do things. Okay, but let me show you a little, little chart here. Okay, so here's the centralized exchange model. So here's, here's a guy, all right? You transfer your money, your fiat money, and again, fiat is your paper money, your uh, dollars, your um, uh, euro, your um, pounds, all right? That's you transfer your, your fiat money to the exchange. So here's the exchange. Why does it look like a Roman Colosseum? I'm not sure. That's just the graphic I picked when I searched for... Anyway, got sidetracked there. Okay, so the exchange holds your funds like a bank. So at that point, they send your money to the exchange and the exchange makes the purchase for you. Okay, then they it then goes in reverse. They make the exchange, they buy uh, your Bitcoin, let's say. We've got the little Bitcoin graphic in the middle there. They buy your Bitcoin, bring it back into the exchange, and they hold your money for you until you're ready to withdraw it. Okay? Now, what are the downsides of that? There are plenty. Hackers can steal your money. Um, what they call wash trading, which, if I'm not mistaken, that just has to do with, um, you know, kind of they're not they're not being 100 percent on the up and up with you price manipulation because now if they're sending your money to the exchange to trade for you 
you have no idea if they got the best price for you, if they put someone else's order ahead of yours, um, things of that nature. And of course, your information, it's you're not anonymous, etc., etc. And here's another one. All right. So, centralized. Exchange controls your funds. It's not anonymous. Hacks and server downtime. Now, see, they use the same little Roman Colosseum. I guess this is the international bank symbol. I don't know. But anyway, again, I digress. So let's go back to decentralized. Okay. All right. So here's the decentralized exchange model. So the way this works is you have your money and your money never leaves your control. So your money stays in your control. You keep it in your treasure, your nano, your my ether wallet, uh, whatever means you use to store your cryptocurrency. Uh, we'll just say Bitcoin just so, you know, just to make it simple. And then you put you while it's in your possession you transfer it into the exchange okay so you decide okay what type of price you want and you actually make the purchase on the exchange with another person so it's what they call a p2p or a peer-to-peer -peer exchange because now there's the other guy or another person and they do the exact same thing they have control of their money okay stays in their control in their treasure their nano their my ether wallet however they have their cryptocurrency safe they then uh, you agree on a price so they're saying okay I'm selling my Bitcoin for this price and you're like well I'm willing to buy Bitcoin for this price you agree on a price and then each go your separate way and that's the beauty of the decentralized model not to mention this exchange doesn't sit on one server anywhere it's sitting all over the place okay it's set on different servers different places okay here when it's sitting like this it can be hacked it can be attacked denial of service attacks it can be somebody trying to black hat get in there and and do something you know downtime to the server hacks to the server but if it's decentralized there's no central location again you control your own funds it's completely anonymous in most cases and no hacks and server downtime. Whoops. Okay, and this chart, we uh, go over it a little bit further. You know what? Let me back up just a little teeny bit here and let's go over what decentralized means. All right. In simple terms, a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange, or DEX, like I said, that's what the cool kids call it, cuts out the middleman by creating a highly intelligent, trustless environment. Deals are made through smart contracts and atomic swaps, so the currency never passes through the hands of an escrow service. It's just peer-to-peer, -peer, P2P. DEX are still in infancy and not very popular yet, but 2018 might see a lot of progress with decentralized exchanges. Okay, so that's the stuff we talked about. I forgot to mention the smart contracts. The smart contract is how we keep everything on the up and up and uh, the the money goes from one person to the other and then the fiat that they, let's go back here. Let's get the little chart again. And this is how we make sure see, the use of smart contracts verifies that once you agree on a price, the money gets to him and the Bitcoin gets to him okay okay so in this uh, particular medium article they go into a little more detail on decentralized crypto exchanges and give you a nice little overview now this is a five-part series where we're not gonna do the whole thing it's not like homework here <laughs> all right cryptocurrency exchanges are for all intents and purposes the backbone of the crypto market no doubt we have to have a way to exchange our fiat for crypto and then once you're ready exchange your crypto back to fiat alright two types of exchanges centralized and decentralized that's what we're talking about alright uh, is one that has no central controlling controlling server or bundle of servers as a result no third party escrow intermediary is required to hold the funds in the exchange transaction so in a centralized, so here they talk about some of the same points that we talked about, just a little bit more detail. All right, so the control of funds. 
Users of a centralized exchange platform make deposits to the exchange. All right, we did all this. You, you kind of get it now, right? Authentication. So here are some of the benefits. Faster and cheaper transactions. More difficult to hack. Integrates directly with secure hardware wallets. And the funds are controlled by yourself, by user rather than a central corporation. Now they do have some downsides. They can be a little more difficult to use. Um, like I said, services like Coinbase, Binance, um, Kraken, different ones, they are more popular because they're very easy to use, but they're easy to use because we're getting used to using them. Does that make sense? Think about uh, debit cards or credit cards. You know, it wasn't that long ago that people were writing checks in the line, right? Now, does anybody even, you know, or they're spending cash? But now, does anybody even, you know, if you get in the store and somebody takes out cash, you're looking at them sideways already because you're like, man, this is taking too long. Just use your card and hurry up about it, right? So that's what it is. It's a learning curve like anything else. All right. They're saying lack of robust features. So there's, there's, they're saying it's new. All right. So here's a few of them. Coin ChangeX, the ZeroX is protocol, which is also a token. Kyber network and here's a list of some of the other exchanges now some of the nine best ones decentralized waves idex open ledger decks which is bit shares crypto bridge oasis all right all so there are they're popular and they're becoming more and more popular if you look at this particular article on Quartz, Coinbase, a very centralized exchange and very popular, I might add, they bought a decentralized exchange. Hmm. Now, why would that happen? It's becoming more and more popular. Like I said, Coinbase is one of, is, is the biggest uh, centralized exchange out there. And they've decided to purchase a decentralized exchange. So it's definitely part of the trend, part of what's happening. Um, a One of the ones, we just showed nine of the top ones, nine of the top decentralized exchanges. One of the new ones that just hit my desk is called Xtoke. All right? Xtoke. And that's at xtoke.com. All right? Now, their token sale is live right now. So if you wanted to be an early adopter, get involved now, as opposed to some of the ones that are tokens that are already on exchanges, um, you could get in now for a very, very small fee. So let's just, just hit a couple of the things about Xtoke. Their exchange is live, okay? And I left this error up here so you could see this. Hopefully you can see this. You are using MetaMask, but you are not logged in. Please log into MetaMask and refresh. Now, MetaMask, I've got MetaMask tied in, so all I would have to do is log into MetaMask, and then it would be able to get my, my funds, my crypto, right out of MetaMask into the Xtoke exchange, still in my control. That's the key. I'm not sending it to the exchange, I'm not sending it to Xtoke, okay, and I'm not even logged in. I wouldn't even have to be logged in. I just have to be logged into MetaMask. All right, I'm not logged into the exchange. So that's why I left that up there for you to see. Okay, it's not fully live yet, but it is, you know, it's operational. But I guess this is just so you could see. And then this is where they do their advertisement. This is one of the ways that they, um, they're making money. All right, but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let me, let me hit you with a couple, uh, a couple things. Okay. What is Xtope? It's a new DEX. Like I said, that's what the cool kids call it. A new decentralized exchange which has absolutely no fees for buyers or sellers. All trades are safely carried out without fees via the Xtoke smart contract. And here's a little bit from their white paper. Okay, again, their main thing versus the other decentralized exchanges is that their fees, their trading, okay, fee-free trading. There's no cost, okay? Uh, offering instant trust and secure token exchange using the smart contract. We talked about that. 
They've got a nice little letter from the CEO. Hello all. I want to extend my thanks for your interest in the XTOG ICO. We thank our community in advance for helping support our vision and to help make sure that it becomes reality. You can expect great customer service and regular updates from our team every step of the way. Yours sincerely, hugs, love and kisses. Boy, uh, just be my pen pal and be my friend. Ben Vieira, Vieri, CEO of XTOG. Well, that's a nice little letter. Very simple and straight to the point. Okay, and here they talk a little bit about cryptos, the rise of cryptos, the booming industry, ERC-20 tokens. And they talk about why they decided to do a decentralized exchange. High fees, security concerns, we talked about that. All of the hacks. Um, just as a quick aside, here is a list of cryptocurrency exchange hacks. More than 980,000 Bitcoin have been stolen from exchanges, which would be more than 15 billion at current exchange rates. And this just highlights, you know, October, Silk Road, 171,000 BTC, March 2014, Mt. Gox, that's the one everybody always talks about. There's some lesser known ones, 13,000 BTC, Cryptsy, uh, Exchange, Mint Pal, uh, 3,000 some odd, almost 4,000 BTC, 2015, Bitstamp, Five five billion, uh, excuse me, five million. Uh, do do, do, do Beter seven thousand BTC one point seven million, and on and on and on. So it is. It's a thing, you know. It's a thing. All right, it's a thing. All right, let's go back to the roadmap. Uh, excuse me, the white paper. Okay, so they've got. Uh, you know, they're telling you what their solution is, which is their exchange. That it, uh, the smart contract does all the, all the heavy lifting for us, for them, and why they're using decentralized. And I don't want to beat you over the head with it. We already talked about that. All righty. They offer 24 7 support. That's their ICO platform, XO 2.0. And they've got a mobile trading app. That'll be come out in September 2018. Airdrop app, crowd sales, due diligence. All right, roadmap. Actually, they have a neater one over here. I mean, yeah, here we go. So the crowd sale started uh, June, June 20, June 27th. So about uh, what's that? 13 days ago? A little about two weeks ago. The crowd sale ends in another 12 days. 11 days uh, July 21st and the very next day the XTO tokens will be available on the XTO platform and at the end of July just seven days after that it'll be added to major major exchanges so they're gonna have a busy month okay their July because it's it's already what the 10th so their July is going to be busy 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 they're gonna end the ICO they're gonna put them, uh, make them available for trading on their platform, and they're also going to add them on major exchanges. And then in August, they'll have the uh, Android and iOS trading apps releases. All right. So this this one is going to hit quickly. All right, this one's going to hit quickly. So bottom line, if you're interested in being a part of a new decentralized exchange, we see what's going on. We see that uh, Coinbase is purchased has just purchased one. We see that there are lots of upsides to using decentralized exchanges. We looked at the list. Uh, let's hit this list again. Yeah. So talked about storage, server downtime, identity breach risk, insider trading, the fees. Uh, obviously, they're not on decentralized. So if it's something you want to be a part of, they are in the middle of their ICO. All you would have to do is uh, deposit your funds to this this particular address. The price of one um, X to token is only 0 0.0001 ETH. All right, you give it some gas, you give it the guai and some gas, hundred thousand, and boom. Via smart contract, they'll send it directly to you. Let's see. Let's see, how much is that? 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Only. Now see, they missed some zeros in here. This is saying point one, two, three, four, five. This has three zeros in there. So which one is it? Hmm. Let's go back out to the white paper. Uh, okay, token details. Soft cap. Here it is. Oh, this is the discount exchange rate. Okay, I see the difference. So this is what it is right now. Let's do a copy. Let's go to Coin Market Crypto Converter. This is my favorite converter. Be careful when you're checking out these converters as well. The one on Coin Market Cap is safe, but if you just do a Google form, I, I have run into um, uh, some very unsafe ones. It'll pop up my my uh, detector will pop up automatically and let me know what's going on. Okay, so the amount in ETH. Damn, that's less than a penny. <laughs> that's less than a penny. All right, and that's the discounted rate. All right, and it's four cents, uh, four point six. Call it five cents once it gets to the regular rate. Okay, so it's it's they're cheap. You can get a whole bunch of them. Get a whole bunch of. Them. Uh, if you decide again, if you decide to, to uh, take advantage of it, all you would have to do is click on the Xtoke uh, website. Let's go back. You click on uh, that's the exchange that we just looked at. You just click join the token sale. I'll take you to this page. Buy XTO tokens, and you just simply from your My Ether wallet or your, um, however you send your ERC twenty tokens. Do not send this. Do not send this from. Um, definitely don't send it from a centralized exchange like Coinbase or Gemini or anything like that. Uh, it'll take too long, and it could actually um, hose up your account. Because Coinbase is very funny about what you take the money, how you send their money aside but coinbase so don't send it from a centralized exchange that's just a fact send it from your my ether wallet your um your mu your nano your trezor uh, some other form but do not send it from um and also don't send it from like your uh shoot okay, my, my brain here um like your jacks wallet or your um exodus wallet okay if you have any issues, you can hit them on support and or on Telegram. Their Telegram group. I was trying to open up the web version, but uh, yeah, so they got a whole bunch of stuff going on. They got bounty campaigns. Um, they're very active. So yeah, there's that. Okay, and Facebook, tweet, Twitter. So there are plenty of ways to get in touch with them. 2,000 smart followers, 68 tweets, good trading. All right, let's like that. Come on. There we go. And we're going to retweet it. That tweet has been deleted. That tweet was deleted. So we're going to like that one. Retweet that one. Retweet. There we go. Okay, so that's it, folks, on uh, Xtoke on um, centralized versus decentralized exchanges. Wanted to bring this one to you. It was one that crossed my desk, and it's interesting. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, you know what I mean? Like, they're fee free, you know, they're going to have airdrops, and they have something about how to run an ICO directly from their platform. I'm not familiar enough with that to talk intelligently about it, so I will leave that for you to contact support to get more information. All right, but again, easy breezy. You can get a very you know, put twenty bucks in it, put fifty bucks in it. I did not see where they had a limit. Um, I did not see where it says uh, this is the minimum. All right, here's if you need support. It's where there. Uh, support at xtoke.com uh, and I will if I do see that I will keep looking if I do happen to see where 
uh, they have a minimum I will pass that along I'll include it in the uh, video notes all right folks so that's Xtoke and this has been a discussion of centralized versus decentralized exchanges as always good people I appreciate you watching subscribing please share like comment tell me if you've used any decentralized exchanges um, if you have which ones are your favorites and do you trust it you know this is another part of our journey in crypto all right good people big mo crypto here appreciate you appreciate you appreciate you please share like and subscribe be well god bless